Hi guys. I just, this is what I get for exposing the truth about birds. But yes, the truth is that Elon Musk banned me. <laughs> I can't believe I got banned from Twitter. The other night when all my friends were getting banned, I was like, oh my God, I think I'm going to get banned. And I, um, and I, I like had it in my head. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get banned because Elon hates me. He hates me. And, um, so anyway, I had no tweets on my account, no tweets. The, I had three tweets on my account. Only three tweets were live on my account. Two of them were promoting my other social media channels. And then one of them just today, I, um, I tweeted at Elon asking him for comment for this story that I've been working on. And, um, and then that's when he banned me, <laughs> which is so crazy. It's so crazy. It's so crazy because everyone else got banned on Thursday. And now I, here I am the random Saturday night ban when I'm out with my friends, my other band friends like Ryan Mack. Um, anyway, I, it's so funny that I've been banned. I can't stop laughing at it. It's so crazy. Imagine being a fucking billionaire. Imagine being a literal billionaire. And then you spend all your time on Twitter to the point that you bought it. And then you're banning random girls that you don't like. Like reporters. That's so funny. It's so funny. It's so crazy. Also, it's just like insane to see a platform like that just totally go nuts. Um, yeah, Brand Brayden, Elon does not support Yas or Slay. Um, but yeah, yeah, Quentin, I got banned. He banned me because I asked for comment on a story that I'm writing about, about his stalker. Um, Anyway, I don't really even have anything to say other than like, I can't believe I got banned. And hopefully it's a temporary ban. I don't know. Like with Ryan and Drew, they tweeted like something about Elon's jet. And so they were forced to delete it. With me, I had three tweets on my account and none of my tweets were violative. Like I didn't tweet anything about Elon's jet. I literally just asked him for comment being like, hey, I have information that you want. Um, whatever. Matt, when's my story coming out? Monday. So stay tuned Monday for our story. <laughs> our story will be out um, then. And Drew, it's, I'm writing it with Drew Harwell, um, who has also been banned. So, you know, the silenced. Um, oh my God, Shepali, hi. You're one of my favorite people um, on Twitter. I'm actually very sad to not be around. Um, will, will Elon post a poll to determine if I'm unbanned? I mean, the thing is, if he posted a poll like that, the amount of haters that I have on the internet, I think it wouldn't go my way. <laughs> oh my God, Charlotte, hi. Um, thank you for the hair compliments. You guys know I love that. Um, but yeah, no, um, it's really crazy. It's really crazy. I can't believe I'm banned. It's so funny. Yes, I'm holiday. I mean, it's the holidays. Um, one second taking a sip of my drink. Um, yeah, I'm still bejeweled. Um, I honestly, it's very funny because Twitter to me, it's like so, it's like one of those nostalgic social networks. Like for people that don't know, I got my start on Tumblr and I wrote on Tumblr and I became like a person on Tumblr. And a lot of media people followed me on Tumblr and that's like how I got hired into media. I was working at like a shitty temp job and, um, and my Tumblr was like getting traction. And so I got into this whole world and like started writing about it. And that's like what kicked off my entire career. And when I was at Tumblr, a person from Twitter reached out to me and was like, Hey, we see that you're like a popular creator on Tumblr. Um, you should join Twitter. And I was like, Oh, I will join Twitter. Cause I want to keep up with my friends from Tumblr. And at the time, I could never imagine not, not using Tumblr. Like that would have been like cutting off a limb. Like I couldn't imagine it. And then Tumblr kind of went away. And I was like, oh my God, I can't imagine not using Twitter. Like Twitter is like life. Like I love Twitter. And I will say in the past couple of years, I've just not felt that way. Like I just don't feel the same way about Twitter. It's gotten so toxic. As you guys know, I'm always trending. Like on the app for something so dumb 
it's oh i'm always trending for like the dumbest reason alive or like getting canceled by like some faction of twitter that i didn't even know about and um so yeah so i kind of like stopped making friends on it like i used to make a lot of friends on twitter and i i still i was still kind of but like not that much so um so yeah i don't know i just anyway i kind of anticipated being banned just because Elon seems like he bans everyone he doesn't like. Um, and so I was like promoting my other social media, which is why I deleted all my tweets. I actually have an auto deleter that's supposed to delete like every two weeks, but it was like on the fritz and I think it was just like mass deleting my stuff or Elon was deleting my stuff. I don't know. All I know is I could still see my tweets, but other people were saying that they couldn't see my tweets anymore. I could still see all my tweets though. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Um, yeah, and so I just was like, okay, the only thing I'm gonna tweet, the only thing I'm gonna tweet is asking Elon for comment, which I did. And that's when he banned me. Cause I asked him for comment as a journalist. Isn't that crazy? Elon's probably watching this live on a burner. Yeah, well, Elon, what's up? You're crazy. You, he's so crazy and so messy. It's so embarrassing to be a billionaire and be on the internet. Like that is so fucking embarrassing. You literally, you have so much money. You could hire your favorite band to like play for you every night or like go, like literally have a private chef cook whatever you want. You know, you have a million fake friends that would come over for a party every night. Um, and then you are sitting on Twitter. That's crazy. I still can't get over that. That's like, there's that great tweet, which now I can't find because I'm not on there. Well, I have, I have like alt accounts, but, um, so I will find it and I will post it, but it's like, it's something like Twitter is the one place where, what fuck, what is it? It's like Twitter. It's like Twitter is the one place we can make fun of rich people and they can't like fight back or something. No. Oh, sorry. No, wait, it's not about rich people. It's about celebrities. It's like Twitter is the one place celebrities don't have our respect and it kills them. And it's so true. Like Twitter is the one place where like celebrities don't have our respect and it kills them. And I think that's so true with Elon. Um, like he's he and like all of his little buddies are so obsessed with like being being right and being like surrounded by yes men or whatever. Um, Anyway, and so it's very funny. Okay, well, does anyone have any other questions? I don't, I kind of should get back to hanging out with my friends. I just thought I would like come on here because I was on TikTok and then all my TikTok followers are, they're great. I love my TikTok followers, but I just thought I would come and talk to, you know, my friends because I feel like more of my friends follow me on here, whereas on TikTok, like n hopefully no one I know is following me, follows me. Um, yeah, Tom said the great thing about Twitter is that peasants can needle billions and actually annoy them. That's the best part, billionaires. Oh my God. Um, okay, well, if you have any questions, DM me. Um, but yeah, it's very funny that I got banned and hopefully I get back on because I would love, my book comes out, my book comes out next year and I do need to promote that, but also I have a lot of other social media, so I'm not like, too stressed about it. Um, subscribe to my Substack. Subscribe to my Substack, please. It's taylorlorenz.substack.com. Let me put it in the comments. taylorlorenz.substack. Oh my God, we have libs of TikTok in here. Is that the real libs of TikTok? I honestly can't tell. You guys will have to tell me. Anyway, um, yes, the title of my book is Extremely Online, um, The Untold Story of Fame, Influence, and Power on the Internet. It's out, Simon & Schuster, the pre-order drink, uh, pre-order link is dropping in January. Um, so look out for that. Um, I wrote a book, I've spent, this has basically been a full-time second job for, for me for the past year. I have um, been writing this book, um, actually a year and a half, honestly. Um, and it's about the rise of the online creator industry. It's like everything I've reported on for the past 12 years of my life. Um, and it's out next year. Um, it actually comes out next fall. Book timelines are so slow and crazy. Um, but um, yeah, so my book comes out next fall. Pre-order link will be dropping in January or no, I don't actually know if it'll drop that soon, but it'll definitely drop next spring. So I will be promoting it. Um, so definitely buy my book when it comes out. You can subscribe to my Substack. Um, 
lips of TikTok. I've actually never wished suspension on other people. Let's not, let's not get that twisted, guys. Um, I have always, as I said earlier, um, I've always actually advocated for a Discord-like approach to Twitter. So I think it should be up to the users to determine what experience they want on Twitter. I think people, if they want the full craziness of Twitter and they don't care, and they're like, you know what, give me all the hate on the world, like I don't care what people say, go for it. Have that version of Twitter, right? However, if you just want like a small version of Twitter, you just want to post to like your, your mutuals, um, you want a locked account, you want to like segment your audience, you know, whatever, you should have that, you know? there It's crazy that there's no way um, to do that. And no, uh, I did not ask Twitter to ban you, Haya. I did not, I reported on your account. Um, it's up to Twitter what they want to do. As you know, you got seven strikes um, which is actually preferential t treatment because most people are banned. I think three to five strikes is the ban. So um, Libs of TikTok actually enjoyed special treatment from Twitter, which is something that we um, found out from the Twitter files, which I thought was very interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've I always said about Twitter um, that it needs more segmenting and people need to be able to determine their own experience of Twitter because I think that's the majority of the friction on Twitter. It's like, do I wanna enter this crazy world where everyone's gonna yell at me or do I just wanna post about like NBA games to my friends, right? Um, and so that's the thing. What is this lady saying? Twitter admitted that I never violated their rules. Well, you, you did, you misgendered people. That's violative, or it was violative under the old administration. As we know, the new administration doesn't care. So don't worry about that. Um, anyway, um, as I was saying, I do have to go back to my friends. I'm here with Ryan um, and some other people who are my good friends that we were actually just hanging out um, because it's the weekend and that's what I do on the weekend. But um, I love you guys. Subscribe to my Substack. Um, you know where to find me. I've, I'm, you know, I'm logged into everything, um, and I'm on every single platform, so I'm not super stressed about it. What is really crazy, and I will say, other journalists, other journalists have so over leveraged on Twitter, and Twitter's like their only platform, and so it's a big deal if they get banned because um, Twitter is like their only way of reaching their audience. So I'm really grateful that. Uh, Twitter is not my only app. And yes, Brayden, I will send you an advanced copy of my book. Um, and I um, hope you guys keep in touch. It was fun to chat with y'all.